there have been people working for reform uh, of the conflict of interest or ethics laws, if you will, as well as some of the other laws that are under consideration, campaign finance law, the lobbying laws, uh, the open meeting law, all of which I believe are in the conference committee's bill. Last fall, as a result of certain very high profile incidents, uh, in part, and perhaps because it was a good time, so I think it's somebody in the one of the, what is it, Ron Emanuel, the president's uh, chief of staff said, don't let a, um, a crisis or, uh, go to waste. The governor uh, put together a, a task force uh, comprised of people from um, both the legislature and, and the private uh, sector. I was one of 13 members. It was chaired by uh, the governor's chief legal counsel. There were two senators and two representatives, one from each of the parties on it, and a number of other people, including prosecutors and people who have been involved with conflict of interest in lobbying issues. The focus of that task force was on those two issues, conflict of interest, ethics, if you will, and the lobbying. After a number of meetings and a great deal of work, the task force submitted a recommendation to the governor in those areas, and the governor in turn submitted legislation uh, to, to the legislature at the beginning of this year and requested that the legislature look at uh, the legislation and move it forward. Both the House and the Senate did that. First, the House um, took a look at the bill, held hearings, uh, members of the task force and other citizens and legislators testified at that hearing, and the House uh, then voted on a bill, which was reported out. Uh, similarly, the Senate um, held hearings um, and heard testimony from many people, both written and oral, members of the task force, citizens, legislators, uh, and it put out its bill. There were the the major, one major difference, and to really the House and then the Senate's credit, is an area that the, the governor's task force did not look at, identified as an area that needed to be looked at, but did not in fact address it specifically because it was not authorized by the charge, <coughs> involved, involved the campaign finance area. The House, uh, on its own initiative, uh, added to the bill, if you will, or added to many of the provisions that were in the, the governor's legislation, added a significant number of campaign finance issues as well to be addressed. The Senate did it, uh, adopted many of the House's proposals in their legislation, but added even more in campaign finance, uh, and also addressed uh, an area of the open meeting law. So the bill that was originally proposed by the governor, in a sense, has expanded, not only include ethics and lobbying, but also campaign finance and open meeting laws. And so the bill that the conference committee, as I understand it from a draft or that uh, Senator Tolman has provided to us this evening, um, involves all of those areas. And, and it appears that uh, they may have done what I hoped they would do, which was take the best uh, of the governor's bill, the best of the House bill, and the best of the Senate bill, and put them all together to get a really good bill. And as I, from what I've, I've seen, and we may get into, I guess, some details at some point, it appears that um, they have uh, done that to a large extent. <laughs>